While the foundation supports the weight of the building, it's the floor frame that establishes the level and squareness of the finished structure. To begin, let's look at the elements that make up a basic floor frame. In residential construction, the floor frame is supported by the foundation walls, along with any support posts and girders that span the interior of the basement or crawl space. At the base of the floor frame, directly on top of the foundation walls, are the sill plates or mud sills. The sill plates are attached to the foundation walls using anchor bolts embedded within the concrete. A sill sealer is installed between the plate and foundation wall to keep out insects and prevent drafts. The sill plates provide a flat, level nailing surface for the installation of the floor joists. To complete the floor frame and tie the joists together, rim or band joists are attached to the open sides of the frame. Depending on the span of the floor joists, a girder or beam may be required to support the interior of the floor. To help stiffen the floor and spread concentrated loads over a wider area, many floor frames include bridging between the joists. To complete the platform, the joists are covered with either a 5 8 or 3 quarter inch thick subfloor. The first step in building a floor frame is determining the size and type of joist to be used. Now this will depend on several factors including the building span, cost considerations, and your local building codes. 